this going on. Okay, so we gotta hook all these guys up there too. Uh, we'll figure that out here in a second. How convenient it will cost way. Um, to get them guys hooked up, you basically just easily bend these out straight because they're bent in originally to easily bend everything because you don't want to kink nothing. And then this is going to be the last thing we're going to have to run through the wall, but we'll get that in a second. So let's figure this out first and we'll go. Exactly how we have it wired up, but then I seen this over here. So they literally have a whole entire panel that lets you run down there and then a run down literally to the outdoor unit. So black, white, red, yellow, green. So we ended up getting it right and we kind of just did it off our head, but awesome. Okay, simplify. So guys, one more thing I just realized, don't force this panel and shut it. There's these little clips right here that you push in and then it will shut really easily once you get both those clips on each side. And once you have that, then, then it should snap into place. Uh, gotta put it all on there. There you go. See that there? Just like that, snapped it all in, good to go. Um, and I keep a protective panel on that till I'm done. Um, you don't have to, but I just would. So let's get all these out of the way. Get all this stuff cleaned up here. And then uh, we'll draw right, Here you go. Let me show you this here. Here's the plate that we got We got to put in there. Um, and then here's this. Obviously visualize that to where you want it to go. And then just make sure this is level. Um, I would suggest getting out a level and measuring thing and do it, but I've done this enough times that I kind of know where it. Um, or have hung things enough times to figure out where the heck I want this to go. So I'm going to kind of visualize this up the wall right there because I want it to sit just like that. Visualize it up the wall about where I want it, and we're going to call that a day. And uh, that's where I am going to put it in at. Then once I get that in and everything, I'll uh, put this bad boy on there. Again, I do not suggest doing it like that, but I'm going to do it like that. Don't suggest it, but I would suggest measuring it out, but I'm going to do it like that's that. That's how we're going to do it. I already started going a little bit. This is my Milwaukee fucking hog dog, I call it. And uh, let me show you this here. We're gonna get active with this boy. So get her up there in the hole, just like that. All right, watch and learn. Oh boy, deep wall. Oh, hey, we're through though. We made it through. That's what matters right there. Alrighty. So we're gonna do four of these holes to, and then we're gonna chisel out the center of them. So watch this. Oh, oh no, those. Hey guys, I got that all chiseled out of there. We got a hole going all the way through now. So uh, now I gotta run them through there and everything. This would be maybe a little bit of a pain, but we'll get figured out. I got all these stretched out here from there. Uh, we're gonna get her through there now and then hopefully I'll be good. Mine, I, guys, I would recommend putting things down because I just made a heck of a mess too. I didn't even think about the brick dust and everything, but yeah, it makes a mess. So put something down in the future. I'll get all that cleaned up though. But yeah, future, get, so, get this all covered up with plastic or something beforehand. That's how I would do it. I didn't show put it in the bracket, but I got her up there. Um, it kind of just, you hang it down and push it in. I used these guys right here to put it on there. So you drill the holes and then you put those on and then you run the screw into it. It makes it real tight in the brick. So that's how I hung that guy. Now she's good. We're gonna have to move on to the backside, obviously, and go from there. All right, so we got this all the way out of there. Now I gotta bend it down and get this guy in right there, but I gotta get that pad put over here where it's kind of more underneath it. And then we can run the electrical out from our basement there. So we're gonna go from there and do that. Guys, I ran this down, I ran her over. Um, now we're getting it in, plugged into the Costway thingy here. Got my electrical running out from my panel right there, which I'll show you guys that in a bit. This right here is the main thing. Don't, do not, when you're bending these here, hold on here. Oh, fuck, there goes my glove. Uh, when you're bending these here, do not crease them because, or don't kink them because that's, that will cause a problem. So we're gonna get those in there. Okay, get it kind of started here. Okay, I'm gonna, Get that in. I got it ran all the way down, and I'll show you guys what to do after this. Just get them put in there and get them as snug as you can. Don't obviously try not to over tighten them. That's what everyone says. I just went snug enough to as like if it was a gas line, it wouldn't be leaking. That's kind of how I um, judge that. So there's supposed to be a torque rating on them, but um, that's nobody does that. I mean, some people do, but barely anybody does. So once you get that right there, I'm using channel locks because you can only go so tight with channel locks if you use a uh, a pair of um, adjustable wrench, you probably can get more tight than what you need to be. So I'm gonna to go right here. When I start seeing this whole panel flex, see that right there? See how I got the panel flexing on there? That's what I want. And this one too, 
see that the panel's flexing i know that's pretty damn tight okay so that's good now it has to be six inches out so we're gonna have to space that out and everything i move this over right there so let's get this put out to kind of where we want her and i'm gonna think like maybe like right there i got the torch out just because i was melting snow you don't need a torch for anything but, okay so got that and got that right up now we're gonna have to take all this right here and get this to where we want it and then we can place our electrical box and everything else as i also want to show you this because i was confused on this at first too the only cord i have running out of this 220 unit in there and the inside unit is this for um this guy right here that's it that's the only thing i have running out of the inside um to go to this outside unit and then the rest is power to the box so i'll show you guys that here in a few minutes um we're gonna get this taken care of and then we'll go from there and so they put these on the end of these wires these are like heat shrink things i don't know why they did that but um I'm cutting those off down to that so we actually have the part exposed to slide up into the screw because that just doesn't make sense. Um, I'm sure you guys probably seen that too and you guys are like, oh, what, what the heck? Why does that not make sense? Because it didn't make sense to me either. So I'm cutting them. Um, then we're going to go from there. Okay, guys. So just like the inside unit, same thing. The ground goes to ground. One goes to one. Two goes to two. Um, 3S goes to 3S, just the same one as the on the inside, and then we'll run off of that from there. I don't know. Yeah, see this panel here? I mean, you could have kept that on there, but I didn't. I took off all four bolts. So we had to slide this to the right, the right side hole right there, and then this is how it will go up in there. Do that first, and then we can wire into that guy. Make sure we do that, or you're gonna be like, oh shoot, I gotta take it all off again. So do that first. Okay, so we got green to that, red to 3S. Right, red the three S inside. So I'll slide her in there, tighten that guy. Then we had um hold on guys, I gotta go look at my photo real quick to remember what I had on what number here, and then I will be right back. So this is what it looks like all said and done. Ground to ground, red to three, white to two, black to one, just like we had on the inside unit the outside numbers here so s2 and one now these ones it doesn't matter what hot goes to what because we get 220 so you can have you can either have your uh black or your red or your red or your black it doesn't really matter which hot you hook up here as long as your ground goes to ground so and i'll show you that in a second all right so this is one of these three wires that complete the 220 um i just found out because you got two hots and then one ground and they're not going to have a common but we have four wires i would suggest still running four wires in case you ever need it in the future and just cap it off um underneath there just just to have it there for any other uh 240 you might use uh, we're starting to run that up there once we get that to there we're gonna run another one up to that guy too and then we can run our three for the 220 over to that we still got to get our uh duct um on that later uh we're not gonna do that in this video but there's a piece a white piece that will go all the way up your wall and into that and everything and then that's how that takes care of all that so let's get this wire for the four ran up to that then we can get it ran over to our uh all right guys we got all this ram out um we got lbs we gotta put the covers back on all that and everything um we're gonna hook this in here so we got one ground and then two hots here we're gonna use this red and black right here so these two and then this guy, we're just gonna cap off. Um, there's no common in this, because we're just doing 220. Um, we're gonna keep that for any further future use though. So cap that, these two we're gonna use. So first green's gonna go in here to ground, okay. And then uh, we're gonna use the right, we're gonna have right uh, black, and then another hot on left. So hot and left and hot and right, hot. Uh, hot and left and hot and right. We're gonna do a uh, hot black on this side and a hot uh red on that side and that's what's going to give us our 220 and when we put the fuses in here and the in the uh, pull tab there it will uh, connect the circuit where these right here will come down run out and then go to our uh compressor right there so we're going to do that and then go for really quick and simple here this is what comes with your uh unit here when you order it and everything um what we're gonna do is this black is obviously gonna go to uh black in here so it's going to go to that side right there so we're going to hook it up to that terminal and white's going to go to the red 
and then green is gonna go to our ground right there. So really simple, and then that's gonna run out of here. And then just like before, we're gonna have, um, we're gonna go green and then uh, black and red. It doesn't really matter which L1 or L2 it goes to because they're both gonna be hots. So we're gonna do that and then uh, go from there. So once I get that hooked in, I'll show you guys what that looks like on both sides of this to and also to the disconnect there so you guys just know in your own head. Here's what we got guys. I got both grounds going to that guy, a hot and a hot, okay? And then those are gonna run up here. So from there, we're gonna go run this up here. And then this is gonna go, we're gonna put uh, a black hot on that guy. And then this hot on that guy. And then this will go to ground right there. That's how we're gonna do that. Put it up through the bottom there and we'll put a little connector in that right there so this doesn't get uh, wore out in the future. And this just runs right to there just like that. All right guys, so I got them all wired in there. Just take a look at that and see how I got it. The ground to the ground, hot and hot up there. And then when we connect in our uh, uh, fuses, then when we put this little pull tab in up there, it'll be good to go. So we'll do that, connect the fuses here, show you guys how you do that. And then um, we'll put the power piece in. Guys, here is the fuses I use for these. Okay, they're 250 volt AC uh, bus man for this guy and these are gonna go right in those slots right there. All right guys, so they're both in there. Um, that's good to go. Now we're gonna have to put covers on and everything else. This is how we ran this up here too. Um, I'm gonna kind of connect this by the wall right here just to make it look a little bit cleaner, just like that. And then uh, and that's what runs into the unit down there. The way guys, make sure you don't have the breaker hooked up down there or nothing uh, down below where you're putting all these in and touching all this um, where you have all the power off. So I'm gonna slide these in. Sometimes, guys, these can be a pain in the butt, so I'm gonna turn this off. Hey okay, guys, so there's that. And if this is on, it's this way. If it's off, it's this way. So turn it this way, turn it on, because I don't have anything hooked up downstairs yet. They're in the, on the breaker panel. So once that's pushed in, like so, that is considered on, guys. So just FYI. There you go. Once that's there, that's good. Then we gotta just get the color back. Turn the power back on. That's what it all looks like. It's going. We did our drawdown and everything. This is not serious. I'm showing you guys off this one, but it's going now. Clicked on. That guy is done. Okay, that runs that. It's all good to go now. Now we're going to cover some of this up here. I might get that rain under there just for now. And then uh, get the cover on the end of that. Alright guys, so we got to do a drawdown now on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook our vacuum pump and then this guy. Let's pull him off first. All, you want to make sure all these are tight too, which they are. Figure that naturally we want to open one of these. This is where the mounting keys should be. Yep, right in there. That's how we're going to open up the refrigerant once we get it. Down here. See the side of there? So, first of all, it's this side. This is where we do the drill down at. So we got everything hooked up. Um, we got our gauge set on. We're doing a drawdown on it and everything. Uh, boy Donnie right here. Uh, I think may have put the oil in the wrong hole, but either way. Don't you put this on <laughs> Maybe me. <laughs> make sure, make sure that your machine has oil now it's smoking. Yeah, uh, we put a whole bottle in and we didn't see it go nowhere. So, uh, that's all in there now, but anyways, um, we got it to about negative 28 where it's supposed to be. You want to run this for about 30 minutes and then let it sit for another 20 and then make sure that gauge right there does not go down. If it doesn't go down, it's into a vacuum and you're good. So we're going to let this run for a little bit and we'll be right back. <laughs> Alright guys, we just got it turned on and everything. Um, we got it on a setting right now. This thing works this is crazy insane how good this thing works i'm very very pleased uh you know this is a decent size uh living area i mean it's doing doing uh here let me zoom out so y'all can see everything this is a flip house that we just put it in uh, we're like redoing everything in this property right now and it's doing really freaking good 
really good. Um, this thing took a while though to heat up. It went to the auto and everything, and there's actually a defrost setting outside when it's cold outside so if it's cold guys it might take a few minutes for it to turn on just let it do its thing the fan is outside is going to kick on and then this will go before we end this here though i'm going to take it downstairs and show you the panel and how i have it wired into the panel from the boxes outside so that way you guys know for your own good um and that way you guys could do it by yourself and not have any of the same concerns and questions that I had when I was trying to put this in and not being able to read this not so uh, in detailed manual here. So I will go down there and show you that and we're going to end this video right here, guys. Thank you. All right, guys, here's the panel. Uh, here's the 240 volt breaker, 250 volt breaker. Uh, obviously hot and hot. Okay. And then you tie the ground right there let me zoom in on this for you right there is the ground we have it ran into there and onto there and that just runs those three wires right there run outside and that's everything good all right so that's everything guys oh, we're gonna go upstairs take one more look and that's the end of this video all right guys that's everything i'm very happy very pleased uh, we're gonna go outside real quick take a look at that all right guys that's everything um i'm not gonna show you guys this because it's pretty self-explanatory but you're supposed to run a track up this to cover that all up right there but um and you're supposed to wrap it with that white stuff but you guys already know how to do that i did a little bit for you we're gonna do that make it all look good and uh that'll be everything like subscribe do your thing uh, we have more videos and uh informational videos on my page if you need anything else go watch those go take a look at my page and then again like and subscribe that's how you install a costway mini split 240 volt thank you peace that's what it all looks like. It's going. We did our drawdown and everything. This is upstairs. I'm showing you guys off this one, but it's going now.